today we're going to be learning how to play the six stroke rule because that's um, one of my favorite rudiments and it's a very popular rudiment I mean because a lot of drummers make use of it so yeah the six stroke rule is a very short rule which um, consists of just six strokes starting with singles on the right doubles on the left doubles on the right and then singles on the left right left left right right left very simple I'm going to be showing you four amazing ways you can play this. You can use it as a feel, you can use it to start your chops, whatever it is you want to do with rudiments, you can make use of this. So right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left. Now we're gonna be putting our accent on the first right and the last left, which would sound like this. Right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left. Or you can choose to add your accent on just the first right alone, which would be right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. So I'm going to play it faster. first way we are going to be learning this is to start with our thumb one so i'm going to play the first right on thumb one and then the last left on thumb one so first right on thumb one right second doubles left left and then right right left so And then next we're moving to our float on. Same thing, so we're gonna start the float on with our first right, right, left, left, right, right, and then the last left is going to be on turn one. So right, left, left, right, right. the first and the second together which is I'm, I'm starting on my thumb one and then I'll move to the floor thumb so I'll take it very slow again right left left right right left right left left right right I'm going to do it again this and this once this and this one so right left left right right way to play this we're going to start on our eye heart which is right left the same way we started with our thumb one we move to the floor thumb same thing so we're going to apply it on our high heart so right left left right right left right left 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 right left 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 right left I'm gonna play the three together so we'll see how it sounds. First, I'm starting with my my thumb one. I move to my floor thumb and then to my heart. I heart. Sorry. I'll take it very slow again. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, left, right, right, left. So in order to complete this bar, we're gonna end with our floor thumb. I'll take it very slow. But for this now, it's going to be right, left, left, right, right, left. So on the floor term, which is the last, right, left, left, the second right, right is going to come on the floor term. So right, left, left, right, right, left. Take it very slow, everything together now.
confusing so you have to first slow it down and then start increasing your tempo gradually so i'm going to slow it down again one two three four again understand and know about um rudiments is that there's no fixed way or should i say there's no particular way this can be played once you just have the correct stickings in your mind you already know the correct stickings it depends on how you want to just play around with it you can this i can still choose to do it's like this So you can choose to play it anywhere. This would be a topic for another day, knowing how to use your kit to start your chops and whatever it is. So if you are a beginner uh, or you are an intermediate drummer and you are watching this, just know that there is no particular way to start your rudiments. Once you just have the correct stickings, you can start with your snare, start with your high hat you can start with your kick, whatever way you want to do it. You just know that you are playing the correct stickings. So I would advise you, you, you start this very slow with maybe 50 ppm and then you start increasing your tempo and also use this to work on your speed you can use it for if you practice this continuously you can it can also bring flexibility around the kit so do this for seven days and then come back and testify thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next video